More than 12 billion miles from Earth, across the black sky, Voyager 2 still moves. It's past the edges of the solar system, drifting beyond every map star. Suddenly, it sent a strange signal, unlike the usual patterns or numbers. Not normal data from machinery or space, but something unexplainable under science. Experts said the probe had made an impossible encounter in the dark. Something unknown touched Voyager 2 with behavior that defies physics. Could it be a cosmic anomaly, or something beyond our understanding? Let's travel deep into the void, where stars blink in silence. This journey didn't begin with high-tech labs or modern screens. It began in 1965, with a doctoral student holding just a pencil. Gary Flandreau saw something rare in the sky, a perfect planet lineup. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune were forming a cosmic alignment. This pattern happens only once every 176 years in time. Using their gravity, one spacecraft could travel faster across the dark. NASA saw the chance, and Voyager 1 and 2 were created. Launched in 1977, Voyager 2 became the real explorer of space. It reached Uranus in 1986, capturing icy moons with its lens. Then it flew to Neptune in 1989, scanning cold winds. Voyager 2 found unknown moons, rings, and spewing volcanoes in silence. Wind speeds over 1,000 miles per hour howled across alien surfaces. It learned barren planets were far more alive than we knew. Then it passed Neptune and went silent in public channels. The camera was off, the job seemed done, the mission complete. But secretly, the probe was starting its most dangerous journey yet. In 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the H-E-L-I-O-P-A-U-S-E, the invisible space wall. This is where the solar wind ends and stars rule. Unlike Voyager 1, Voyager 2's crossing was eerily calm and smooth. It didn't match decades of space models, not even slightly. The magnetic field stayed steady, and the chaos was absent. Instead of sun-driven changes, Voyager 2 found stillness in space. Then came something worse, a low hum, deep and constant near it. The vibration didn't match stars, nor our galaxy's core sounds. It wasn't radiation from the VOID, but something much closer. Voyager 2 was nearing FORCE, or something not natural. Suddenly, the deep space network got a distorted transmission from it. This signal wasn't just scrambled, it was structured in its glitch. Something had changed the data midway, but kept its shape. Then, contact was lost completely, as stars blinked on screens. Moments later, Voyager 2 reoriented itself and reconnected alone. No instructions, no commands, yet its antenna moved perfectly on its own. Recovered files showed magnetic spikes with no solar source near them. Strange radiation patterns that weren't from stars or our nebulae appeared. Even more chilling, it had shifted direction, avoiding something unseen. NASA dismissed the event as cosmic interference or a basic glitch. Internally, engineers called it the encounter, because nothing else fit. Voyager 2 was now following a different trajectory, without any input. Let's not forget the golden record, attached to both spacecrafts. A copper disc with music, greetings, and images of life on Earth. Carl Sagan and team called it a cosmic invitation for all. But what if something found it, and actually answered back? The impossible signal, the orientation shift, the mysterious hum, all connect. They suggest Voyager 2 move through a region that's occupied. It could be exotic particles, or a phenomenon beyond comprehension. Or maybe, it was a warning, silent but direct. Because soon after, the probe pointed slightly back to Earth. Some said it was a navigation reset, or just correction. But many scientists now think it's returning with a message. A message not written in words, but in action and shift. After this event, the probe did something no one expected. It slightly changed its angle, not speed, but the aim itself. This wasn't a wobble, but a chosen direction change in dark. Its onboard systems only react to errors, not curiosity or bulbs. 
No such error occurred, and yet it looked elsewhere on its own. NASA ran tests. Was it dust or our gyroscope failure? Nothing found. This led to one idea. Voyager 2 acted autonomously, against logic. This created fear, because if it chooses now, what is it seeking? Then something even more unsettling happened in the stillness. Voyager 2 stopped sending scientific data, but stayed alive and responsive. Basic health signals still pinged, temperatures, power, and system status fine. But its main instruments, cosmic rays, plasma, magnetic fields, went silent. NASA didn't go public right away, debates raged internally. One report hinted at a suppression protocol, but it doesn't exist. This silence could mean it recorded something too complex to send. Or maybe something stopped it from sending what it found. Across the world, theories started spreading like light in a tunnel. Physicists looked again at the dark plasma model of the void. This plasma could carry magnetic oddities and gravity shifts unknown to us. But even they admitted, it doesn't explain the structured signal. SETI researchers whispered of encoded binary within the signal's flow. While unreadable, its non-random format felt engineered or deliberate. Others thought of passive alien technology, watching and listening quietly. Not ships, not beams, but nodes left in deep space, like sentries. Something Voyager 2 passed through and changed its behavior forever. This probe, made of copper and plutonium, now seems aware. If that thing is real, then maybe it's aware of US too. That idea reshapes defense plans, space policy, and philosophy at once.